Short news. Russian authorities continue to clamp down on migrant workers, which probably will affect the number of migrant workers entering Russia. That will likely have some effect regarding the lack of workers inside Russia. Kudritsky, head of Ukraine's national grid company stated that Ukraine's power grid is far from a collapse after heavy Russian strikes. He stated that local problems are happening after the Russian strikes. The situation on the ground. Weather today. Svartov, partly cloudy, 26 degrees Celsius. Donetsk City, partly cloudy, 23 degrees Celsius. Kherson City, partly cloudy, 21 degrees Celsius. Likely, ground conditions are rapidly improving for offensive actions. The Ukrainian general staff reported 61 combat engagements in the last 24 hours. We had 61 Russian air strikes and 8 Ukrainian air strikes reported. Kupiansk area. North of Kupiansk. No Russian attacks reported since yesterday. Assessment. All indications point towards Russia now taking an operational pause in this area. We have continued Russian air strikes in and around Kupiansk. That indicates that we can expect renewed fighting here at some point. I assess it is very likely we will see heavier fighting here before the summer. Situation stable. Kremina area. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing eight attacks in the area of Terni. Russian attacks reported at Terni and Biloharivka. We have positional fighting reported at Terni and Biloharivka. Assessment. Russia is asserting heavy pressure in this area with ongoing attacks against Terni. I have no reported gains since yesterday. We will likely continue seeing this kind of pressure, or heavier, in the coming weeks. While Russian gains are unlikely, considering ongoing attacks, they cannot be excluded. So limited Russian gains are possible here in the coming week. The situation is stable, but the Ukrainian situation remains concerning. North of Bakhmut. Russian attacks reported at Biloharivka, Spurn, and Ivana Derivka. Positional fighting was reported at Biloharivka. Assessment. Russian attacks have renewed on the eastern part of the Sivisk salient, no confirmed gains reported since yesterday. I expect that we will continue to see Russian attacks all along the salient, from Biloharivka down to Rozdolvika in the coming weeks to the coming months. I assess that one major Russian strategic goal is to try and capture this salient during 2024. The situation is stable. Bakhmut area. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing 14 attacks in the area below Harivka to Chasiv Yar. Russian attacks reported at Bodanivka, Ivanivsky, Klishchivka, and Chasiv Yar. We have positional fighting reported at Ivanivsky, Bodanivka, Andreevka, and Klishchivka. Assessment. We have ongoing Russian attacks west of Bakhmut, with confirmed gains in the Chasiv Yar direction. Heavy fighting is ongoing, likely heaviest in the Chasiv Yar direction, which is likely the Russian near-term goal. Heavy Russian pressure is giving some limited gains, but they have not changed the overall situation. We have confirmed information regarding losses of Russian armored fighting vehicles in the area of Ivanivsky. Russian forces are increasing their mechanized assaults, with limited to no success, and increased losses. The situation is stable but Ukrainian forces are under some pressure here. Donetsk area. North of Donetsk city. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing six attacks in the area Berdichy to Pervomaysk. Russian attacks reported at Berdichy and Pervomaysk. We have positional fighting reported at Berdichy, Semenivka, Umanska, Nevelska, Pervomaysk, and Krasnoharivka. Assessment. We have confirmed limited Russian gains in this area since yesterday. We have very heavy Russian air activity and ongoing shelling reported. All of this indicates that this, and the attacks west of Donetsk city, is the current Russian main axis of attack. We have additional reports that Russian losses after their failed mechanized attack have been heavy, with 12 tanks and 36 armored fighting vehicles destroyed. The fact that Russian commanders are trying to attack with bigger mechanized units indicates that Russian forces are trying to penetrate the Ukrainian front, possibly under some time pressure. My assessment stands.
This is either because Russian forces are under some time pressure to penetrate the new Ukrainian defensive line, or they think they have spotted a weakness in the Ukrainian defense. The first continues to be the likelier. Indications are that Russian forces are unable, at this time, to conduct larger mechanized attacks with any degree of success. The situation remains stabilized, but Ukrainian forces are under heavy pressure. West of Donetsk City The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing 18 attacks in the area Hiorhivka to Eurozhain. Russian attacks reported at Hiorhivka and Novomykhailivka. We have positional fighting reported at Novomykhailivka, Hiorhivka, and Pobeda. Assessment We have ongoing M very heavy fighting in and around Novomykhailivka, but no gains reported since yesterday. We can expect ongoing heavy Russian pressure here over the coming week. Russian limited gains are possible to probable considering the pressure. Significant Russian gains remain unlikely in the coming days, to the coming week, but they cannot be excluded. The situation is stabilized, but Ukrainian forces are under very heavy pressure. Vromivka area. Russian attacks reported at Eurozhain and Staromayorsky. We have positional fighting reported at Eurozhain and Staromayorsky. Assessment. We continue to have reported fighting here, but no gain since yesterday. Russian forces are asserting some pressure, but it is likely relatively limited. My assessment stands. Russian forces are likely aiming to tie down Ukrainian forces. I do not expect any major changes here in the coming week. Situation stable. Orykiv area. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing two attacks in the area Staromayorsky to Verbov. A Russian attack reported west of Verbov. We have positional fighting reported at Robotyne and Verbov. Assessment. Some fighting is ongoing here. No confirmed gains since yesterday. Russian sources claim some gains, but they are not confirmed. I do not expect any major changes here. Situation stable. Kozatsky Kherson area. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing one attack in the area of Krinky. Russian attacks reported at Krinky and Kozachi Lahiri. Positional fighting reported at Krinky. Assessment. We have some additional Russian attacks between Kherson City and Kozatsky. We have confirmed limited Russian gains in the Kozachi Lahiri area. The situation has not really changed. Expect some ongoing fighting here. Limited changes are possible, but I do not expect any major changes in the coming week. The situation is currently stable. Conclusions No major changes since yesterday. Russian main axis of attack is around Donetsk city, where they appear to try attacking with bigger units. Those attacks have so far failed, and likely been heavy in casualties and lost equipment. It is unlikely Russia can continue attacking in battalion-sized formations, over the coming week, if they continue to sustain similar losses. At Bakhmut Russia is aiming to capture Chasiv Yar. Russia is asserting some pressure there, but it is unlikely they will reach or even capture Chasiv Yar in the coming four to six weeks, and it is not unlikely they will still be fighting for that position in the coming 12 weeks. West of Kremina, Russian attacks continue against Terni. We have had an uptake of Russian mechanized attacks, but the reporting indicates that all have failed with significant losses. That indicates that Russian forces are lacking the capability to attack in larger formations. Considering the rapid expansion of Russian forces inside Ukraine, with heavy, ongoing losses, it is unlikely Russia can attain the capability in the coming years. Russia can likely not sustain heavy losses of tanks or infantry fight vehicles over the coming weeks. While large mechanized attacks can continue, especially if Russia think they have spotted a weakness in the Ukrainian defenses, they can likely not continue over the coming weeks, if they continue to sustain such heavy losses.